Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, April 19th, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand on location at Dole & Bailey right outside of Boston. Today we're working on a new project with NAMP and their Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, Foodmarket.com is reporting that U.S. Food Service announced it purchased Ritter Food Service, a division of the Penfield Corporation. Ritter, based in Mountjoy, Pennsylvania, is a specialty distributor of high-quality poultry, meats, and seafood, including the Penfield Farms brand. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, make sure you head to foodmarket.com. Now, let's check out the markets. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, the market is trading lightly as holiday influences limit the enthusiasm for chicken. Offerings on most items are adequate for spot needs, while others are in a more limited position. These include thighs, leg meat, and trim meat. Wogs are easing off the throttle in light of Easter and the end of the month. Talking turkey, business patterns are relatively reserved in terms of overall activity. Offerings continue to be irregular for most parts, thigh meat, whole birds, and bone and breasts. Breast meat is reported as being somewhat more available. Toms and hens are trading sharply higher for September and October ship dates. Supplies are held with confidence. Whole wings command premiums where they are offered. In the egg market, retail demand is good to occasionally very good. Wholesale spot buying interest is mixed. Several report short positions and bid for delivery prior to Easter. Others have supplies available for immediate delivery. Brown eggs are trending lower. Breaking eggs are under pressure. Liquid whites are under pressure as well. Moving over to red meats, live cattle markets are quietly unchanged so far. As of this morning, bids have yet to develop. Box beef cutouts are still under some downward pressure as supplies are outpacing the current demand. Lower asking prices have already been noted on several items. In the boneless market, light trade on fresh 90s has already been collected at mostly steady price levels. Buying interest is rated uh, still moderate. Retail features are apparently still limited heading into the holiday weekend. Undertones for fresh 50s are about steady. The imported beef market movement has been limited as of this morning. Most traders are indicating that activity will be limited this week due to the holidays. Looking at pork, hog buyers are expected to cast barely steady to weaker bids this morning as they prepare for an extended weekend in observance of Easter Sunday. As a result, direct market hogs are rated flat to weaker and sales at the terminal markets mostly steady. Thus far today, the meat market are rated mostly steady. Hams are largely balanced and interest for additional bellies for processing waning. Bone in loins are still snug and boneless loins garnering additional interest. Undertones for spare ribs are somewhat unsettled as offerings vary widely. That's your Ernerberry Market Report brought to you by Ernerberry's 2011 Executive Conference, Thriving in a Global Economy. May 1st through 3rd at the Bellagio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Visit Ernerberry.com slash executive for more information or call us at 732-240-5330.